I ordered a new chain breaker, but it's not coming for a week, so... We got the Dremel. A lot of you guys were complaining because I was using a chain breaker. Some of y'all said I use a grinder and get it done and da, 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 da. Well, I don't want hot metal anywhere near my bike, but I guess I have no choice today. All right, let me show you what a chain looks like when it has a tight spot. As you can see, this chain doesn't look too bad. It seems to be at a right tension, but watch. I'm gonna pull this back. Now I'm having difficulty pulling it back. Some of you have been asking me when you should change your chain and that I cannot answer for you, but you should inspect your chain more often than not. One way to do that is put it on a stand and spin the tire. If you're getting tight spots, the tire will stop spinning. Improper chain tension is not something you want to mess with, especially if you're riding. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this off. Safety first. That's good. Again, it's better to use a chain breaker than this crap. Hot metal around your plastic could mess them up, but this is a jig shirt after all. There we go. Now let me show you the dumbest thing Suzuki's do, especially on the jig shirts. Look, this is the speed sensor. The sprocket is behind all of this. This is the clutch fork. You know what I mean. It's your clutch thing. We have the shift lever and everything is connected to this sprocket cover. It is the dumbest design I've ever seen on any motorcycle. <sighs> but I guess Suzuki riders aren't very smart. I wouldn't expect anything less from their engineers. It is 2.12. It's usually my favorite time of day, but today's a little bit different. I'm freaking hungry. It's also going to be my first ride with the Insta360 Ace Pro. Hardest part about having a new camera is the button placement. It was hard for me to press the uh, record button. Oh gosh! <laughs> the bike just turns on or it turns off. One or the other for this bike. Hell yeah! Ooh, it is chilly, Willy. So this scene, I actually was headed to the post office, but I forgot to ship your orders. I'm sorry, it was a mistake. I am gonna get them out tomorrow, but for now, I'm gonna edit this video. I appreciate you guys' orders for the stickers and the key tags. And as always, brood hoodies are still on pre-order. Thank you for the support. Link will be in the comments if you'd like a key tag or a brood hoodie or a sticker. Shout out to all the members. Everybody's contribution keeps this channel full free. Let's go. We're here to try some Bon Mies from La Ca Cafe. I've been here before, but all I got was the coffee. <clears throat> oh yeah. Hi. Okay, now we are on the Ace Pro as a vlogging camera. Okay, so I had to take this off so that I can get the sound. So my normal setup would be the GoPro on the helmet and then the DJI in my pocket, and that would be my on-the-go cam. Taking off the GoPro was pretty easy. Taking off this is a lot easier. There's this little quick disconnect right here. There is this flip screen. Testing that. Oh, it's got like auto eye, oh, auto face focus. That's nice. All right, this is my first time having Vietnamese iced coffee with salt. Apparently, people have it with salt, so. <laughs> Let's try it. All right, all right, here we go. It's salty. Interesting. If you're Vietnamese, let me know if that's a thing. My first time trying it. Look at this barn me. Oh my god. That that looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Had some banh mi's, plenty of banh mi's, and this one 
has to be the best one I've ever tried. Oh my gosh, it is so good. The bread is crispy on the outside, it's soft on the inside. It has nice chunks of cucumber, a ton of cilantro like I like. Pork is tender. Wow, this is delicious. Bomb me was so good, I wanna eat these cilantro sticks at the bottom. <laughs> I've never had a banh mi this good. I love banh mi, but this is the new banh mi spot. <laughs> okay, we will keep testing this Insta360. Thank you! We'll keep testing this La Ca Cafe. It's freaking delicious. Let's go. Let's do this. Huge shout out to Insta360 for sending me the Ace Pro. This is not a sponsored video, but there will be a review video that is going to be sponsored. This is merely a test to see if I like this or <laughs> if I'm stuck with GoPro forever. That's the only thing. I've been trying to get out of their freaking ecosystem like forever, but there hasn't been a camera that I feel is worthy of replacing the GoPro. Except for the DJI, I really love the DJI. The unfortunate thing about the DJI, the audio. I don't wanna have to spend $300, $400 for their dedicated microphone, so here we are. Getting a brand new camera is like getting a used motorcycle. You never really know what you're gonna get. You don't know how it's gonna work, especially with this type of content that I create. But I am very hopeful for this camera. Just the low light capability itself, the test that I've seen online, hands down, it makes it the action camera to have. But is it the moto vlogging camera to have? Especially with my setup. The test that I've seen from other creators, I think they use wireless microphones. I personally just like it as simple as possible. I don't wanna have to turn on a million things. So I'm all about the wired microphone setup. A little old school, yes, but it keeps my setup really light. <laughs> Be too crowded. It shouldn't be. You going? Oh my god, why didn't you go? They're not going straight. Oh my gosh. Alright, we are testing the audio of the Insta 360 Ace Pro. Ah, I couldn't really go far. <laughs> Look at that yellow ass Ranger, bro. Oh my god, dude. Pressing this button is a little bit difficult. I don't know if I'm just still new to it. It's like a really like hard press. Oh well, I'll just keep it on for now. There we go, we got some wind. Okay, I'm gonna try turning it off. My gloves on, let's see. God, it's not doing it. I don't know if I'm pressing the wrong thing. So turning it on and off with my gloves on, a little bit difficult. Actually, a lot of bit difficult. I feel like I'm pressing it really hard, but nah, bro, it's still recording. What the heck? These are the times I wish I had the mirror up here, because then I, <laughs> I wouldn't have to keep looking down. Uh oh. I hope everybody's okay. The R6 is so visceral, bro. Oh my god. All right, let's pull over here. I just want to see if I can get this to turn on. I don't like recording like long pieces of footage. I like to like turn off and turn on my camera. So it's not doing it. What the hell? A long press? What's going on? Is everything on? Yeah. Okay. It's recording now. I don't know if I got any of that footage. We'll find out. All right, we ran into issue number one. I can't turn this off. There's the record button down there. Huh. Okay, I got it that time. I wonder if I was just doing it wrong. Let's see. Record and then unrecord. Record. Unrecord. Maybe I was just pressing it too hard. I don't know. I had my gloves on. Secret in my secret ingredients. Optional, but it's gonna make the big difference on the taste of a uh, lumpia Shanghai. I put four pieces of shrimp and then I chopped it into tiny pieces. 
So for Shanghai lumpia, she uses pork. She seasoned it with a little bit of pepper and salt. This is new to me. She put a parsley. Kinchai in Tagalog. Kinchai. 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 And of course we have chopped celery, minced garlic. Ani chopped carrots. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Carrots. Little pieces. A one to one ratio of red and yellow onions. Para peppers. Toasted mayo. Garlic. A lot of garlic. You know, you can use the wok, it's bigger. Not too much celery. Maybe just two stalks of celery. Parsley. Parsley with a P, not F. Parsley. <laughs> Parsley shit. Grand finale. And chop shrimp. That's all the shrimp you put? That wasn't much at all. Don't overdo it with shrimp. It's not gonna taste good. Just it's not a either three. Three or four pieces, it's just to add extra flavor. So we'll leave this here soaking to marinate the taste and we call it. You just repeated the same thing you just said. <laughs> Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One. Two. That's it. Then mash, mash, mash again. So you're not sure about the taste, right? It's not gonna kill you, dude. In here. Two. It's salty enough. It's good? Okay. Perfect. All right. That's how it tastes. I'm not hating on you. I mean, you, you're, I'm just saying, you don't like medium rare steak. You like your steak well done, and you're tasting that. <laughs> it's fine. Costco run. Are you wearing your glasses, Olive? Did you hear your glasses? Yeah. Did you see your daughter? Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Can I see your glasses, you cutie That's pie? Genius daughter. Oh my goodness! Look at these you are look gonna so be. Cute. These are gonna glasses. be. These are gonna be my vacation glasses. All right. I just got done with day one of testing the Insta 360 Ace Pro, and I already have one minor complaint and an issue that came up while I was writing. My first complaint is the hyperview, or lack thereof. What I've come to love about my GoPro Hero 11 is that really wide field of view without having to add a lens mod. I shoot all of my writing and talking content in that hyperview, and so far I'm just not liking the action point of view on the Insta 360 Ace Pro. Now, the first issue that I ran into was when I was recording. When I'm out writing and talking, I like to start and stop the recording because it just makes my workflow a lot easier. I have talking points in my head and personally I'd rather not sit through 30 minutes of footage trying to find my talking points. Is it a long press? What's going on? It's recording now. I don't know if I got any of that footage. We'll find out. At first I thought it was my gloves but I did eventually pull over and I gave this button a hard press like multiple times. I even long pressed it and it just wouldn't turn off. The only time it would turn off is if I actually pressed the power button. Now I don't know if this is just a fluke but I'll continue to test it. One of the things I'm really excited about is night riding. I've never really enjoyed getting night riding footage because this is really crappy at low light. But I have seen some comparisons between the two, so I'm waiting for it to get dark so I can take the bike out tonight. Okay, the Ace Pro has been recording now for almost eight minutes. Let's see if it'll turn off. Okay, it definitely stopped recording that time. I don't know if it's a fluke or if it's because of this mic adapter, but I'm gonna try it again with this mic adapter plugged in and see if that may be the issue. Okay, we are just about nine minutes with the mic adapter. It did it that time again, so maybe I wasn't pressing it correctly. I'm not sure at this point, but I guess we'll find out on the next ride. It is nighttime, and we are doing a nighttime test. This is without the nighttime AI. Now, if I just pause the recording. Okay, now we are on the pure video. Um, I do have one light right up here. It's a little floodlight, but it's still not really that bright out here. That is what that looks like. And now on the LCD itself, it looks kind of crappy, but I'm pretty sure once I'm in post, it's probably gonna look pretty good, as far as I know. All right, y'all, we didn't film this, but we got some mongo. It's like, it's, it's one of my favorites. My mom said I gotta stop eating so much of it. Something about arthritis, but I ain't got no arthritis, bro. <laughs> and guess what? This time she put the, uh, what is it called again? What is it called in Tagalog? Cause all these fools are gonna throw a fit if I don't say it in Tagalog. Ampalaya. Ampalaya. The uh, bitter melon. Ampalaya. Master wrap. We're gonna make my mom's dreams come true. The health department finally called me back. They said I can come in and fill out the application for her to go sell her food at Rustin 
market. I was like, mom, you should just do social media. And she was like, why? Why don't you let me do what I want? She was like, no, it was always my dream to sell food at a play market. <laughs> this old ass Filipino lady, we on TikTok live. Somebody sent gifts. And she said, thank you for the rice. <laughs> That's <laughs> old ass. Thank you for oh the moon. Thank you for the old ass, bro. Thank you for the Thank moon. you for the rice. <laughs> <laughs> so here's something that I noticed right away. Like the angle that I had this earlier was a little bit upwards, and I kind I kind of already could tell. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand down a part of that. Now I could tilt this down a little bit more. Just mix it again. You guys are probably thinking she makes lumpia for me. She does not. That's for her olive. It's for her olive. Tuck it in. Roll it like a pro. You roll so tight. I don't know how many of you Filipinos are watching, but when you were a kid, did you have to unwrap the wrappers for your parents? I did. I did for my mom. Okay, we're on the Insta 360 Ace Pro once again. I don't want to call this day two. I'd rather call this day one and a half because I think yesterday I just got my angle wrong. Oh. <laughs> Fairly dry overall. Definitely some wet spots, but it's all good. We got the Rosso Corsas on here, so. <laughs> Not as sketchy as the Super Courses on the R6. Let's go. All right, now that I've gotten used to the Ace Pro location the button, I like that it vibrates when I'm recording and then it does a little vibrate -y thing when I stop recording. I, I really like that. The Ape is a heavy bike when it's static, but when I'm riding it, it feels so light. And in all honesty, this bike almost feels like it weighs the same as the Jigster 750. That's how heavy the Jigster 750 feels to me. I tried taking off the muffler and the resonator at the bottom and I sat on it and I tried to like tip it side to side to see if I could feel a difference while it was standing still and I just couldn't. That's why the Jigster 750 just feels more like a thousand to me and I feel like if you're interested in the Jigster 750 you might as well just get a Jigster 1000. I don't know how the newer ones feel but I imagine they feel similar. It's not like they made a lot of changes on the Jigster 750. What's crazy is this bike feels just as tall as my R6. <laughs> Except this bike is just visceral, like way more visceral bro. Man, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful couple of days. Yesterday I got a ride in, that was nice. Today I got a ride in again and I'm in my dickies. <laughs> 50 high right now, holy cow. Probably the best weather we've had in January since, I don't know, as long as I've been here. Last year I was out here riding in the winter time and it was freezing. It's mild compared to last year for sure. That auto blip. Oh, <laughs> these brakes. Oh my God. I love the R6 too, don't get me wrong my favorite bike right now but the Aprilia man it's not like any other bike you, you'll ever see around you're not gonna see this bike around it's 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 interesting because I still haven't seen another one just like mine in my area I remember riding the Panigale around and then I started seeing them everywhere and it was just like dang it <laughs> it was just disappointment and I think that's part of the reason I didn't even like the S1000R because just everybody and their mom had one all right let's turn this off see if it'll come back on nope doing it again yesterday I did like a double click let's see okay it, it worked that time wow I, I think it's just my gloves that's what I'm chalking it off to like like the gloves is that has to be it it just maybe I'm not getting a solid press with my gloves on oh my gosh the way this bike pulls <laughs> God, man. On cap, no god, broods. Bike is insane. I love it. Quarter throttle on this. It's like full throttle on the R6. It just pulls you back. All that torque, man. 90 foot pounds. Oh, relax, Volkswagen. Get it in all the way. 
I gave it a little tap. So if you ever accidentally shift from first to neutral, make sure you give it a nice blip before you shift in the second. Don't just pull in the clutch and then pop it in the second. Give it a good, good blip, depending on how fast you're going to. Get those RPMs like right in the middle somewhere and then shift it in the second. It makes shifting into the second smoother from neutral. The auto blip roots. <laughs> it's been a while since I brought the ape to Rustin. God, it's nice though. Man, I always seem to arrive at the perfect time. Well, there's no bikes and it's just me. I really, I don't know. I like that. I like seeing bikes out here, but when it's just you, let's see if there's even a spot up that way. Oh no, there are bikes. required within 15 minutes of arrival. I'm gonna go validate 4J1. Here's a little cheat code if you guys are ever out here. <laughs> I'm just walking to this pizza spot. <laughs> Hello. There we go. <laughs> Testing the audio now on the Ace Pro. From what I understand, the audio is not that bad. I will say it's a lot better than the GoPro, but I'm gonna compare it against the DJI because I really like the audio on the DJI. But from what I could tell yesterday, audio is good enough. What I hated about the GoPro is I would have to carry the DJI right here in my pocket. And essentially I'd be carrying two cameras, two sets of batteries, um, whereas now I'm carrying one camera and one extra battery. And this battery lasts really long. Anyway, sheesh, check that out, bro. My God, dude. I keep forgetting to say brood. My, uh, my content strategist is gonna be mad at me. All right, check that out, brood. Ooh. What's up, bro? What's nice your name? You. Alex. Alex, nice to meet yeah. you, bro. I'm, uh, you're on YouTube. Hey, what's up? There you go. I'm doing. Uh, I'm testing the Ace Pro. I saw that Have video. You oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so um, right now I'm doing like the ambient sound. You're good. Uh, I, I run with Alex Davenport. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Each other. I saw your affiliate, and I was like, All right. that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you write? Uh, I ride that CB 500F. Oh, nice, uh, dude. I was actually a raging idiot. Okay. I wrote on, if you want to record me being a raging idiot. Okay. Um, I rode on I-5 uh -huh. for the first time after two weeks of my first bike. Yeah. Crashed uh, 50 miles an hour. No kidding. Okay. Uh, ICU five days. Oh, my so gosh. I wear so my now, now you're doing it. Okay. Well, I was wearing gear. They you said were. my gear saved my leg. Good. Uh, How do you feel about armored hoodies and armored pants? They don't work. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't think I, so? I was wearing Kevlar jeans. I have this jacket actually. You can see where I slid on I-5. See that? Yeah. Um, I, the first thing when I crashed, I had two broken bones. The first thing I felt was road rash on, on my ass from Kevlar jeans. Yeah. So. I wear leather Leathers now. now. Good for you, bro. Yeah. Good for you're you. You're a positive influence, man. I appreciate what you do. Dude, yeah. Thanks. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice appreciate to meet you, too, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Bike's a savage, bro. We gotta go before this traffic gets worse. What's up, bro? What's up? I'm Nate. Nate? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. What do you ride? Um, I just got a R7. Uh, oh really? Can I check it out? Yeah. Alright, uh, I'll pull up. Damn! That's nice, bro. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah. 2024? Yeah. yeah Holy shit. Oh shit, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got my earplugs in this hand. Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> Damn, son. I like the color. They were like, he's over there. I was like, I gotta check him out. Oh, for real? Ah, yeah. I'm testing this out for uh, Insta. It's like, it's retro or some shit, right? Yeah. Wow, bro. That's such a cool color, dude. R7, guys. Holy shit. Is that stock? This little... Yeah, everything. Look at that. It's yeah. got a little... Uh... Uh, Is that? That's gotta be new. Right? What made you get the R7? Uh, I'm heavy. You're heavy? I'm heavy. My wife has a uh, G310R. Okay, and nice. And I could barely get up to 80 on that because I'm like kidding. 220 pounds. So I was like, I might as well get something, but I didn't want to get a Ninja. Ninja okay. seemed like it'd be a little too basic. Have you uh, ridden the MT-07 yet? No, I was thinking okay. about okay. it, but I, I like having the fairings, of course. The, 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 the dumb fairings that, that yeah. make, make a bike go from 6,000 to 8,000, yeah. or 9,000 yeah. in this case. What an interesting yeah. choice of a bike, bro. Yeah. So this is what it looks like when you're like an R7. <laughs> 
<laughs> fanatic, bro. Yeah, I'd rather be an R7 fanatic than a Jixxer fanatic. That's true, that's true. Um, you didn't want to get an R6? Well, no, no. no. I mean, everyone says that the, the lowdown power just for getting around is not the best. On the R6? Yeah. Really? And okay. I, I definitely want them, but I was like, I'm definitely going to have to do some work. And I don't mind putting in the work on it, but most of them, I've only seen like either super lapped out ones or yeah. ones that are like, like yours, like fucking yeah. ready to go. So it's like yeah. at this point, I might as well just like get something that I know is one, going to be in good condition, and two, is definitely going to last me. Interesting. And if I go to sell this, who knows, they might not make the color anymore. Interesting. Easily. <laughs> I, I don't believe you, <laughs> but, hey, but I mean, I, lo I, I love to write it. He's saying, uh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Nate. Nate saying um, that the R7 is super nimble, and I'd imagine it is. I'd imagine it is because it's, it's a lot lighter. It looks super nimble, and that's what I've heard from a lot of people is it is super nimble. But, I don't know, I think I just got traumatized by the FZ07, bro. <laughs> I, I love the color, man. It's, it's really it nice, dude. It is so cool. Well, I got the matching helmet, too, bro. <laughs> I so use the funny. cricket. I got it, my, my, my wife, me and my wife have a cricket. Oh, you made that? Yeah, so I made you it. You made that? Yeah. That is sick, man. Yeah. That is really unique. Wow. Have you ever ridden an R6? No, no. Yeah, I want you to ride mine, yeah. you know, so yeah. that way you can get a comparison. For sure. So. What was your first bike? G310R. Oh, were your wife's? Yeah, yeah. So you got that and then you gave that to her? Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It was her. She she got it because she, she was going to Japan. She's in Japan right now. Oh. So she's like, at least if I want to get something, I can get like a scooter or a bike. No kidding. There. You uh, so, so your wife started riding before you? Yeah, yeah, weird. That's Ain't cool. It? That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, no, she's, she's rad. All right, I'm going to roll out, but I'm going to roll out with these guys. This is so cool. I don't know. It makes me want one, honestly. This color scheme is really good, but same swing arm as the MT-07, FZ-07. It's essentially the FZ-07. Look at these guys trying to connect to each other. It's been an hour and these guys... <laughs> <laughs> this thing has a little deflector too. You put this on? Yeah. That's cool. It's yeah. Puig. Look at that. I don't know if it actually works, but it feels like it works. It looks cool. I want one for my Triumph. All right, bro. Start her up. Cross plane. <laughs> Woo, it is coming down, dudes. It went from nice and dry to nice and juicy. 